Uh, the Forestry Research Institute of Nigeria was awarded the Sultan Kabuz Prize for Environmental Preservation in recognition of several areas of scientific research. First of all, they have uh, done work in terms of uh, forestry conservation and management. They have also done work in terms of sustainable food production for food security. And uh, in this regard, in terms of uh, agroforestry, they've succeeded in getting the local communities to learn how to plant their local food while keeping the forest intact. They've also established a national herbarium whereby they have over identified over 100,000 species of various plants and uh, herbs. Another area of work is the area in terms of food, um, uh, uh, diesel, sorry. They've done work in terms of biodiesel uh, conservation. They've uh, discovered plants that could give them alternative sources of biodiesel. Uh, another area that uh, I think got them this prize is uh, the area of uh, permanent uh, plantations. They have identified certain trees and species of uh, plants like the neem tree, the eucalyptus, trees that can be used to check the menace of desertification in the country. Um, while they are doing all this, they've been able to generate employment in the local communities by uh, establishing the uh, training colleges and doing some uh, extension work in, within the communities. Um, last but not the least, uh, they've also been able to get the um, local communities and manufacturing to look at alternative uses of timber so that they now focus on the use of bamboo for making furniture rather than the traditional use of uh, timber alone from the forest. The benefits of the Sultan Kabuz Prize for the Forestry Research Institute of Nigeria have been tremendous. Uh, first of all, the prize gave them a lot of publicity. It gave uh, not just the institute, uh, a lot of uh, stakeholders in the community or in the country that didn't really know the importance of the work that they were doing. It was now uh, given a lot of media coverage. Uh, it also gave both UNESCO and the government of Oman a lot of publicity in terms of uh, this prize. Now, substantially, uh, the prize money has gone into furthering research in uh, their areas of work. It has also given the, um, it has sort of attracted more funding, both from external partners and in terms of getting an increase in their own national budget, because sometimes it's not easy for you to get money internally. Uh, finally, it has been a big moral boost for the staff of the Institute and the various colleges, which, as I said, uh, spread in four other sites all over the country. Uh, for the Forestry Research Institute of Nigeria, uh, there are various challenges. First of all, um, as you are aware, there is a big uh, deforestation, drought and deforestation problem in the whole of the Sahel and Sub-Saharan Africa. And one of the big projects that's in place uh, by the African Union is what is called the Great Green Wall Project, whereby there is a, a program to plant trees, a shelter belt, uh, in 11 countries, starting from Senegal to Djibouti. Now, the Nigerian component of the project is the responsibility of the Forestry Research Institute and other stakeholders. Now, here, they have to plant 15 kilometers wide of a shelter belt to stop the problem of uh, forestation. Now, for a big project like this, you can imagine that uh, the Institute has to be up and doing. Now, in facing this challenge of the uh, green, uh, Great Green Wall project, uh, the researchers of the Institute have to ensure that they have enough plants and they have plants that are going to adapt to the situation. In, uh, in the areas that they are going to be planted. Now, apart from the Great Green Wall project, in the country, you have areas that are prone to drought. 
you have areas where we have environmental degradation, either as a result of oil spill or the activities of uh, extractive industry, mining, and so on and so forth. So it is for the research institute to intensify its work as to how to reduce the environmental degradation and the degradation of our forests. And importantly, as I said, they have to put in place also, as part of their strategy, um, public awareness so that uh, people uh, reduce the pillage of the forests for use as um, energy sources. Um, also, a challenge that the Institute would have to face, um, as I said, they're trying to train a lot of people. They need, Nigeria is a very large country. They need to train more researchers. They need to be able to build the capacity of researchers to use ICTs because uh, uh, there are various conditions all over the country. Some places they cannot reach, so they have to contact these people and show them what to do through the use of ICTs. And finally, as I said, uh, this issue of uh, using, substituting bamboo for furniture, because a lot of the wood is going for use as furniture or as firewood. So that area of utilization of bamboo and then utilization of waste from the industries, whatever is left from the wood, they must find alternative uh, uses for that. So they have a big, big job not just in areas of uh, uh, the green, uh, green Belt, as I said, but the uh, environmental challenges in the Niger Delta, in uh, the Sahara, sub-Saharan parts of the country, and then in making sure the public are fully informed as to ways to prevent uh, forestry degradation.